Good morning, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas. It's February 23rd, 2018, and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya Bicknellii. Um, what can I tell you about this Hoya? It comes from the Philippines, Cebu in the Philippines. It was named after a collector who first discovered it, David Bicknell. Um, to my eyes, this Hoya is very, very similar to Hoya Benito Tanii. Um, the leaves are very similar and the flowers are very similar except for a few differences. Uh, the, the coloration's a little different and the corona tip is a little bit different. Um, I bought this Hoya about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Um, from as a small plant from a vendor in Florida got a pretty good deal on it and it is just flowered for the first time um, the flowers are very small in size um, relative to the size of the leaves you can see they're beautiful very glossy large leaves I'll give you uh, show you the flowers here Stick around till the end of this video too because I've got some great stills. I took quite a long time with them. They should look look pretty nice and show you some really good close-ups of the flowers. There's a light scent there. Um, not really describable, but nice nonetheless. Makes a very handsome specimen plant. Good afternoon, this is Doug again from Vermont Hoyas, and I'm back with a quick update on Hoya bicknellii. Uh, it's been about two months since I flowered it the first time, and I thought I would bring it back um, when it's flowered for the second time. And this time it's flowered on two separate pentacles, and it's also developed um, additional pentacles and I don't know if I can see it right here, but there's another pentacle. Here we go. Here's another pentacle full of full of buds. Plus there's another one with smaller buds. So this plant has really come into its own. It makes a very handsome, handsome specimen, I have to say. Um, most of these Hoyas I can't keep because I simply don't have the room for it. But I'm really tempted with this one just because it's just it's turned into a real real beauty. Well, that's it. I just want to show this plant at, off after the first time I flowered it and show that it's capable of much more and it's still doing extremely well. So I can highly recommend Hoya Bicknellii. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again uh, real soon with hopefully another great Hoya.